Welcome back to The Breakfast here on Plus TV Africa. Now let's go back in history and I'm going back to the year 2012 uh, to tell you, of course, once again, one of the most popular athletes uh, in, of course, Olympic history, but of course popular for other reasons uh, as uh, history eventually showed us. In 2012, he is popularly known as the Blade Runner, Oscar Pistorius. Uh, on this day, on the 4th of August in 2012 in London, he became the first amputee to compete at the Olympics by running in an opening heat of the men's 400 meters. Pistorius finished second out of five runners and advanced to the semifinals where he finished eight out of uh, eight runners. His image would drastically eventually change early the next year when the star athlete was arrested for the murder of his girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp. Uh, he took second place at a time of 45.44 seconds in that heat. Um, in the semifinals the next day, he finished last place with a time of 46.54 seconds and also failed to adv advance to the finals. Um, Pistorius also carried a flag at the opening ceremony of the 2012 Summer Paralympics. He's one of South Africa's most uh, famous athletes. Um, but of course, you know, everyone knows uh, how his story eventually ended uh, with him being sent to jail for the murder of Riva Steenkamp. But Ugh. of course, on this day, he made very, very big history. Terrible, terrible story here. At first, it was a great one. People were happy. First mm. amputee runner competed with regular athletes, then with, you know, other amputees. One six gold, one one bronze, one one um, silver. Great story out of Africa. But then when we heard that he had murdered his girlfriend, you know, a year later, and that was in about 2013. On it Valentine's really, it really, Day. Exactly. On I mean, on Valentine's Day? Mm. That really broke our hearts. Anyway, moving on to our next top uh, story. On today in history is um, 29th of, uh, I beg your pardon, 2019, August the 4th. What happened today in history was the second mass shooting in 24 hours. So about 24 hours before then, there was this mass shooting. Um, this guy had went on, on social media and basically put out information um, that was racist to um, Latino immigrants. And uh, people were really worried. They said that that definitely was fueled by, by Donald Trump and all his rhetoric against you know, immigration and all of that. So this guy basically went into a Walmart in El Paso, Texas, you know, that was popularly patronized by Latinos. And he just went in there, just fired randomly, killed 22 people, injured 24. And then less than 24 hours later, this particular guy um, in the early hours of the morning in Dayton, Ohio, on August 4th, 2019, went ahead to kill nine people and injured 27 others. Now, the sad thing is that um, his sister was caught in a crossfire. His sister also died. And um, the police were actually nearby, just around the corner, when this guy began shooting. And... In less than 30 seconds, the police was able to gun him down. So he, in 30 seconds, this guy killed nine people and injured 24. To let you know that he was really just firing to, to just aim and kill as many people as possible. Um, still about, you know, like I mentioned, the uh, anti-immigrant rhetoric, the lax gun laws in America and all of that. Um, that's what happened today in history. The United States of America is, um, well... Sadly, uh, you know, with the amount of mass shootings that it records yearly, um, I'm, I'm not sure what else, you know, we, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not sure what the answer really is, you know, and, you know, they've, they've had conversations about gun laws for a long, long, long time, you know, and nothing really seems to be changing. They're not making any, any actual changes or any major shifts with, you know, regards their gun laws. And so, you know, very likely, you know, these things will continue. Good thing is, you know, you might argue that they have, you know, you know, emergency health care when these things happen and some lives, you know, will be saved. Uh, but, you know, what must be done? Uh, what, do, what does the United States government think it, it needs to do to um, reduce the likelihood of these mass shootings happening? They must, you know, take these things seriously. I know that, you know, and I've said, I think a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned, you know, that the NRA, um, you know, at, uh, politically, you know, has been one of the stumbling blocks to enacting better gun laws in the United States and reducing the um, you know, the possibilities of people just having weapons uh, licensed in their bedrooms. So, well, sad story. Really, really sad. Yes, and that's what we have for you today in history. Um, uh, in 2012, Oscar Pitaros became the first amputee runner, nicknamed the Blade Runner. And uh, on this day in history, the terrible second mass shooting in less than 24 hours on August the 4th. Let's take a break here and we'll return with our first big story.